Recently, we had a trip to Kennewick for business and we're totally surprised by the Clover Island Inn. This place is so much more than a stop on the way to Seattle, like I always thought it was. Kennewick has a lot to offer. The Clover Island Inn has amazing service, truly something for everyone, right down from a, a, being a place for the kids to romantic getaways. This is a place I would gladly go vacation again. The view is phenomenal. They've got year-round events, free music every Wednesday night, lots of outdoor activities. The weekly Wednesday event is called Thunder on the Island, and it is a lot of fun. They've got local bands. They invite the, the local motorcyclists and hot rodders to participate, so it's a cool place to check out uh, cool rides. And again, it's free, and they do 15 to 20 of these things a year. It's cool. And this is all right in historic downtown Kennewick, which is early 1900s, lots of cool hip shops. Originally, Clover Island was a place where the natives would bring their horses out uh, through the water to feed on the clover. And then when they decided to turn Clover Island into a place for business and the uh, Coast Guard and all of that, uh, they had local workers bring concrete and, and scrap uh, rock from, from what they were building uh, the rubble to, uh, to build the peninsula out to the island. Um, now there's a place everywhere you look where there's art, there's an incredible marina, uh, people have their yachts, there's a yacht club there, fishing. Um, it's a really neat place. Uh, again, lots of art. The Coast Guard station is there and they've got supplies and gas for the, the boaters who uh, might show up at the launch there. It really was a, such a visually interesting place to visit. There's a couple of great restaurants, Cedars and Ice Harbor Brewing Company. Uh, just an amazing place. Uh, and of course, there's the crow's nest right there at the Clover Island Inn. We loved it.